what's going on it's your dude not the raw dog and I'm here to show you how to properly modify grounded the game um, it's a new game uh, recently hit a million uh, a million players which is a very big feat and it's a fun game uh, obviously I played it through uh, I'll show you my world and stuff I mean I hacked it at, towards the end or slash modified it I don't like saying hack because this isn't really truly hacking I mean, it's hacking, but it's not too serious. Uh, but yeah, again, this is a tutorial. Uh, so what you want to do is open Grounded. I will include this address table here, which was made by some guy named Rise Fox. So shout out to him. Uh, and I will be also showing you how to do it yourself. Like you don't have to download this if you don't trust this download link, which I will show you me using it. But anyway, um, once you've loaded up. You can actually go ahead and open Cheat Engine. And from here, you want to click Processes. And then click Main. After you've selected Main, you want to open your address folder and select the Main Win 64 shipping. Once you've selected that, you will see a table come up where you can activate every individual one of these. So if you want to turn Unlimited Thirst on, there you go, that's Unlimited Thirst etc etc so uh, again too you can't do this on a friend server I mean technically you can but it's just gonna ruin that server though like it's not gonna be fun for you because it will like you will see that you have a limited durability the whole time and you can't erase it like once you start like hitting shit your shit will break eventually and it's annoying so make sure you're hosting that game if you want to do this or you're in a single player game but for this tutorial I'll be going into multiplayer just so you can see that you could do this um, but here we go we're gonna go to the 22 days save that I have um, and I'll be showing you also like I said uh, how to do this yourself and so if you want to have a lot of items Ali, who? I'll, I'll show you like it's really easy so Permitted. according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items Alright guys, now that I am back at my base, I am going to show you how to basically look on my chest. So this is not creative. Not one time have I gone into creative. It's all been done just by using cheat engine. I, I did play the game legit all those days, and then my friends finally got the game, so uh, I got bored with that to see this baby, the tier 3 ice pick crazy strong uh, if you want to see the stats yeah a mint mallet tier 3 that damage is crazy anyway, so the tutorial. Uh, you can open up your cheat engine and let's say as you can see my thirst and my hunger is going down so let's say I want to I want to make a hotkey right just so I can be discreet and my friends won't know that I'm doing this but um, say you want to make it num numlock key uh, keep toggle script on because this will turn it on and off instead of just one of or the other and you can also do a sound which it will be loud when I do this so I'm just showing you just so you can do this so my numlock key you can hear a little beep so if we open cheat engine you'll see now that the health is activated and you can deactivate it you can use numlock see making a little sound um, but yeah, so you can select all of these. You can freeze time, underwater breathing, you can change your actual player size. Um, but the fun part that I'm sure you'll are interested in uh, is how to like get these items like this. So, to do so, say I want to make a bunch of cobweb. What I'll do is take these eight, right? You want to have at least, you want to at least have more than two because it'll make it easier finding the actual address because when you type in two I'll show you actually there's that many and if you type one there's still that many and so going back and forth between two and one won't get you anywhere so having three is a good number and just to show you that you can do it with three I will do that so, here are three cobwebs. 
you type in three, right? Make sure you're in the four bit value and that you're looking for exact, the exact value. Uh, you wanna click new scan, first scan. Now what you can do is deposit, oops, you can deposit this and make two and type that in and do next scan. And here, what you can do is actually put six or you can go back to three, it doesn't matter. You just want to make the values change. The, the, the more variation between them, the more easier it is to find. If you have three, it's just going to take more searches, but you'll get there eventually. Like these two are obviously my addresses. And just to confirm that there's two addresses instead of one, we see that there's seven, right? And the previous value was eight, but this one didn't change. So we know it is this address. So when you select it, you can click the down arrow right here and you can rename this cobweb, whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But the important part is this, you can change this value to 300. Once you change that value to 300, you go back into the game, tab out of this or escape out of this chest. And once you go back into it, you'll see that you have 300 now all you gotta do is spam r literally spam r there's all that space you can just fill right so the reason it's important to have a treasure chest is because watch this if i was to just grab this and drop it just changes it to 10 so if you don't have a treasure chest what you can do actually is before you edit that value make sure you drop all of the cobweb on the ground so if you have 10 you want to drop it until you have one once you have just one cobweb with the nine other cobwebs on the ground you can actually change that value to 10 so that one becomes a 10 and you still have nine cobweb um which is just a little loophole if you don't have treasure chests and you're starting off early uh, but yeah really that's it that's that's really all to it um, if you need any help, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. Uh, if this video helped you in any way or you enjoyed it, just if you don't mind leaving a like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be awesome. But yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. You're in a